What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how many of these Gonzaga players on this team can make the NBA, like can legitimately make the NBA. Uh, and I think it's a lot, I think it's a lot of them. I think this team is way better than we even realize right now. Um, it just takes really like two of them. If two of them get hot, that, that's game. That is game because they have so many different weapons. I think they have five legit, legit players on this team. Uh, being uh, their point guard, Jalen Suggs, who's predicted to go uh, bet anywhere between two and four in this draft. Highest I've seen him drafted is two, and then lowest is five. And this is all coming from Tankathon. I feel like that's the most legit source out there, um, even more than like NBA mock. It's Tankathon's updated. All the time like every single day so i'm going to use that one for this when i say like highest and lowest because i've seen Suggs go number one on different sites but i just don't feel like they're that legit so anywhere between two and four i feel like is where Suggs will probably go and uh man i i don't think he's really like played very hard this year to be honest like i think he could have one good night in march madness where he just goes off and shows what he can really do because i don't think he's reached his ceiling at all uh i think he has so much more to show in college i don't know if he's just holding back so he doesn't get injured but i feel like he has a lot more than he's showing uh and so yeah i think he will definitely be a one and done and gone after this year and then our shooting guard joella yai there's so much good stuff to say about joella yai he's my favorite player on the team he does everything that no one wants like that no one else does he's literally the glue he is the glue of the team uh best rebounding guard in the country i don't really think there's an argument there uh first triple double in gonzaga history with just an uh, incredible stat line so that's crazy he's almost done it multiple times not just that one time jalen suggs also almost did it one night too um but he barely missed it and just joel yai is very good defender and he is projected to go around the beginning of the second round on Tankathon. Like, the highest I've seen is 31. And then the lowest is pretty low because he bounced up a lot this year. Uh, from the beginning of the year, he wasn't even really projected to get drafted. But now he's passed up Drew Timmy. Uh, so he's he's around 31 to 35 right now on Tankathon. Uh, and I think he's a really, really good player. I think he fit really well in the NBA uh, just with his amazing rebounding and passing. He's not a shoot first player. He's such a look for everyone else, but he got really hot the other night, made three threes in the first half. I think it was three. It might've been four. He was, he was really, really hot. So he can definitely get hot too, which I didn't know he was capable of doing. So really if him and Suggs got hot, that's pretty much game, but like they have so many other weapons. And I think, the player that, like, if he gets hot, the game's over, Corey Kispert. Corey Kispert is our small forward. He is incredible. He gets just incredible, incredible shooting. Um, when he gets hot, he gets really, really hot. Uh, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. He's just incredible. Can also drive and finish really well. Uh, really good at defense, too. Gets a lot of steals. So he's a very good player, too. He's projected... Anywhere from, I think, 9 is the highest I've seen drafted to, like, 15-ish. So he's kind of late lottery pick, I would say. I'd say probably a lottery, lottery pick. Um, and I think he's going to show up big time in March Madness. And then our power forward is usually Anton Watson. Um, and Anton Watson, it's only his technically his second year but he it's like his red shirt freshman year pretty much like he didn't really play much last year so uh i don't really see him going to the nba i don't think anyone does i don't see him leaving Gonzaga. i see him coming back next year and you never know like he could definitely develop and become something i think that's definitely the goal uh we've seen it many times where people just develop out of nowhere from gonzaga like Corey kiss took a huge jump this year last year he was 
he maybe would have got drafted in like the 40s and jumped all the way up to a lottery pick. And he's a senior, so that's really impressive. You have to really be doing something to get drafted in the lottery as a senior uh, and a redshirt senior too. It's his fifth year, so that's pretty incredible. Um, and then, so Anton Watson, yeah, maybe in the near future. And then our center is uh, Drew Timmy. Drew Timmy, he's really, really good. He's, he's just really good. He has not been on Tankathon. I've not seen him on Tankathon. But just about every other source has him around like the 50s, 40, maybe maybe late 40s. But a lot of other places have him getting drafted and don't have a Yai for some reason. But Timmy scored like 22 in the first half of a game. And then they just held him out for basically the entire game. Um. So, yeah, Timmy's Timmy's really good. I think that he probably should get drafted. If he doesn't get drafted, he'll probably make a two-way contract. Or maybe he'll come back for another year. We'll have to see, um, especially with the possibility of Chet Holmgren coming. Maybe he won't want to stick around another year. Uh, I hope we get Chet Holmgren. That'd be really cool. I'm a Gonzaga fan, but if you didn't know. And then off the bench, this is our X Factor. Andrew Nemhart. Andrew Nemhart is our X Factor. Like, I think... Next season, I think he's going to draft it. I think he's going to come back for his senior season. And I think he'll he'll be, like, take a huge step. I think he'll be really, really good for us in 2022. And I think he'll be in the 2022 draft. I don't really know where. If he doesn't get drafted, I expect him to make a two-way contract after the season. If he decides to leave for some reason this season, I don't see that really working that well for him. So I think he should stick around another year. Unless he wants to go play international like Petrusev did. And then the next player I'm going to talk about is Philip Petrusev, who went over back to Serbia, where he's from, uh, during this whole pandemic, to go make some money uh, playing basketball. Decided to take his name out of the NBA draft, so I don't know if he is entering it this year, but he looks like he's from anywhere from 30, no, not 30, 31, I've seen, all the way to like 40, kind of in that range, same range, a yai kind of, they keep like flipping over each other on Tankathon, like just back and forth. And I think he would be a really, really good modern day big. Uh, maybe like a, mm, I'm trying to think. It's kind of hard. Like I know everyone always compares white players to white players. Kind of like a Zubok, kind of. Like a little bit different than Zubok. You can hear my dog whining for some reason. Thor, no. Uh, so I would say similar to a Zubok, Davis Berton's but not as good of a shooter. Um, but he's really improved his shooting. I've seen a lot of videos of him playing overseas this season um, in Serbia, like I said, and his threes really, really improved. He's way more physical than Berton's, so I don't really know the best comparison. Um, it's kind of a tough comparison. So I don't really know for him, but he, if I think he'll get drafted if he decides to come play in the NBA. So we'll just have to see about that. Um, and then there's just all those other players on the bench. You never know if they're going to blossom. Aaron Cook's a senior. I don't see him making it even on a two-way. I don't see that happening. But you just you just never know. Um, maybe Ballo becomes really good next year or something. Omar Ballo um, and Watson. Those two, I feel like, have chances. I think Ballo needs to lose a lot of weight. But he probably has a chance just because he's a big man at Gonzaga. And Gonzaga's really good at producing big men. If you look at all the players in the NBA, most of them are big men from Gonzaga. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah. let me know what you guys think if these Gonzaga players are going to get drafted. Let me know if you think you're gonna, they're going to win the national championship because I personally do think they will beat Baylor. I think it's just Gonzaga is just on another level. I know Baylor is undefeated too, but Gonzaga is just so, so good. So excited to see what happens with March Madness, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.